Hey guys, this is Minakshi from Off School and as I said in my previous video, we are going to discuss Scatter Singles Theory and Lazarus Cognitive Mediational Theory in this video. So the theories that we discussed earlier in the previous video mainly talked about the emotion and the physical reactions. But what about the mental interpretations of those components? So according to Scatter Singles Theory, the sequence of events in the production of emotional feeling is number one perception of a potential emotion producing situation number two an aroused bodily state which results from the perception and which is ambiguous number three interpretation and labeling of the bodily state so that it fits the perceived situation for example imagine you are walking alone down a dark alley and suddenly you see a figure with a gun the perception cognition of figure with a gun in some fashion initiates a state of physiological arousal. Now this state is interpreted in terms of knowledge about dark alleys and the guns and the state of arousal is labeled fear. As people demand for evidences, evidence for this theory was found in a classic study of emotion called the angry happy man. In 1962, Stanley Schachter and Singer designed an experiment to test their theory that emotions are determined by an interaction between the physiological state of arousal and the label that a person places on the arousal. The volunteers were told that they will have to answer a questionnaire about their reactions to a new vitamin called suproxin. In reality, they actually lied to those volunteers. Those volunteers were all injected with a drug called epinephrine. So this drug, it causes physical arousal in the form of increased heart rate, rapid breathing and a reddened face. Basically all the responses that happen during strong emotional reaction. Now each student then participated in one of the two conditions. In one condition, a person who was just posing as one of the participants started complaining about the experiment. He tears up his questionnaire and storms out. Huge, right? But never mind, he was just posing. So, in the next condition, there was an another man who acted more like he was very happy, playing with some objects in the room. So, the angry man and the happy man in both conditions deliberately behave in two different ways as part of the experiment. So after the conditions have played out, the participants were asked to describe their emotions. The participants who were in the presence of angry man interpreted their arousal symptoms as anger, whereas those in the presence of happy man interpreted their arousal as happiness. In all the cases, the actual cause of arousal was the drug epinephrine and physical symptoms of arousal were identical. The only difference between the two groups was their exposure to two different contexts, the angry and happy man. Now, Scatter and Singer's theory would have exactly predicted these results. Physiological arousal has to be interpreted cognitively before it is experienced as a specific emotion. Some new experiments didn't support this theory. For example, the recent experiments found that the aroused participants the cause of their arousal reported the arousal state as unpleasant even when they were in, in a happiness producing situation thus not giving the results predicted by Scatter and Singer and thus giving us a reason to question this theory. Now moving on to Lazarus and Cognitive Mediational Theory. In Lazarus's theory, the most important aspect of any emotional experience is how the person interprets how the person interprets the stimulus that causes the emotional reaction. To mediate means to come between. So in his theory, cognitive appraisal comes between stimulus and the emotional response to that stimulus. Remember how I encountered this snarling dog in the previous videos? So according to Lazarus, the appraisal of the situation comes before both the physical arousal and the experience of emotion. In case the dog is tied up or is behind a sturdy fence, the appraisal would be like, no threat, I can walk by. Most likely, I tend to be annoyed and my physical arousal will be minimal. But 
If the dog is not tied, I would interpret it as threat, danger, and obviously there will be an increase in arousal and emotional experience will be called fear. Now in other words, the it's the interpretation of the arousal that results in the emotion of fear. And of course, there are people who don't support this theory. Some researchers believe that emotional reactions to situations are so fast that they are almost instantaneous, which would leave a little time for a cognitive appraisal to occur first. Some have found that the human brain can respond to a physical threat before conscious thought even enters the picture. The simple spinal cord reflex of pain withdrawal is an example of this. The reflex occurs so quickly that the brain itself is not involved and the experience of pain is consciously felt after the injured body is dug away from the painful stimulus. Now human emotions are very incredibly complex. In certain situations the cognitive appraisal might have time to mediate the emotion that is experienced such as falling in love and whereas in other situations the need to act first think and feel later is important so that's it for this video if you have any feedbacks i'd be glad if you comment below thank you